Hello everyone, this is Meg Bay and welcome back to my channel. Before I begin, I just want to thank everyone that's been following my channel. You guys are my inspiration every time I make all this video contents. And so I really appreciate everyone's support, so thank you. And if you are new to my channel, then I'd like to invite you guys to please hit that subscribe button to help me out. As well as hit that bell icon so that you guys will be notified of new contents when I release them. So on this video, I'll be sharing with you guys more diorama stuff that I found during some of my hunts at the stores. So most of the items that I'll be going over today are items that I found at Daiso. For those who are not familiar with Daiso, Daiso is a Japanese based store. Uh, they're basically a, a discount store kind of similar to Dollar Tree um, that we have here in the US and uh, Daiso uh, already have a few stores across America so you are bound to have some store maybe close to your area uh, but if not if you can't find this uh, if you can't find uh, Daiso locally then your other option is their website so you can check that and maybe find some of this item that way and with that said, let's go ahead and go over some of these materials. So the first item that I want to go over is this one right here. And this item, actually, I didn't find this at Daiso, but I found this at Target. And this is the only item in this video that I didn't uh, find at Daiso. But I just want to include, it, include this in this video so that you guys can have an idea or maybe um, can see, find this as well in your areas and uh, be able to use it for your dial. So anyway, you know, the, my first instinct when I saw this one is actually of this being a good accessories uh, to be used for like sci-fi team dioramas. So, you know, I'm thinking, you know, you could probably use this as a uh, space container or space module type thing where uh, you can build up some you know sci-fi whatever like you could probably put some monitors in here you know build it up and make this as a base for something you know um, I know a lot of people been uh, doing a lot of those kind of like uh, clear glass capsule where they have Wolverine inside you know the uh, the the X uh, weapon X uh, Wolverine uh, where they have it in a tube right with you know water or whatever so I think this will be like a good base for that for example um, and you can even you know add like like hose like electrical hose for example and have it like run kind of like all around this and make this look like um, you know like a legit kind of like um, you know sci-fi um, something you know the only thing about here is you have to probably do repaints of this one to make it look more uh, realistic because right now it just looks kind of plasticky as you can see but the details are there see if I just show you guys that I mean, you can see that it's it's all in there, and with the right paint on this one and some weathering, I think this one will be really good. I mean, can you imagine having this maybe in a Star Wars uh, team diorama and maybe use this as you know like a container module? Like I said, I mean, it will be good. I mean, it probably will even be uh, good for like. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy space theme, you know, really, you know, I think, I think you could probably use this pretty much um, in a lot of um, Marvel stuff, since they do a lot of, um, you know, uh, sci-fi and uh, space, outer space, you know, scenarios, and this is something that you guys can probably use for that. And just to give you an idea what this one looks like before I take it out of the box, or... Um, yeah, so this one, uh, yeah, this is what it looks like. So I actually found this, like I said, uh, at Target. And so if you look at this, this one is 
it's basically a blind box or blind item type thing you know kind of similar to those uh, LOL um, you know eggs or or those uh, sphere uh, for those um, yeah toy it's kind of a similar idea so uh, this one you know inside of each one of these is this kind of like razors yeah so basically that's what it is and I'm like I said I'm more interested on the container than the item inside but if you have a uh, a kid then it will be a win-win situation for you because you can keep the uh, container and you can give the toy to your son right so and uh, yeah I got this on clearance too so that's a plus I end up paying like 350 on this one when I found them so that was a good pickup for me all right so next one I'll, I want to share with you guys is this and like well, uh, they call this a terracotta lantern ornament so this one is a Daiso and this is kind of obvious for you guys probably um, and it, you know I really like um, kind of like Asian inspired or oriental inspired dioramas and um, yeah this is my idea here is to use this in, in those kind of scenarios. So yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Um, I think this one is made of, um, it's breakable. So you kind of, you know, you could kind of hear that. It's hollow. It's not uh, pure, uh, it's, not, it's not a solid item. And actually, I think this one is, the purpose of this one is actually you put uh, one of those uh, candles inside and and use this as kind of like a, yeah, like a mini lantern, uh, basically, is what it is. But yeah, for me, you know, when I saw this, you know, my idea right away is to make this into uh, or be a part of a uh, Japanese-inspired, Oriental-inspired, uh, type diorama team that um, I've been doing a lot recently um, Yeah, you know I, You could probably just leave this by itself. I mean the 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 finish actually looks good already. It's like a stone look but Probably what I'll be doing here is if I uh, Use this is I'm gonna I'll gonna be doing some weathering on this one and maybe add a little bit more of like damage to it, you know, just to age this a little bit, just to make it look more, um, uh, not, not necessarily realistic because this, uh, this one actually looks kind of re realistic already. Uh, but for me, I just want to make this more gritty so that uh, it will look much uh, more convincing uh, in the photos. You know, when I do toy photography and add this, then it will look more convincing rather than have one clean one like this. But you guys got the idea. So, yeah, and this one is, yeah, it's why the price is right there. It's $2, so it's not bad. Um, I mean, for 2 bucks, you know, you'll be able to add an accent to your diorama. Uh, actually, my other idea here is maybe make this into like a shrine. Uh... You know, you, you could build you could build this up and maybe add, you know, additional details along, uh, I mean, around this, you know, and make this more, like I said, into like a shrine. All right, so, so the next one I want to go over is this one right here, and this one, and uh, let me see, this one is called a noodle mat. So as you can see at the picture, this is what uh, it's used for, I guess, you know. Uh, it's a liner for the plate and you put the noodles in there, I guess, to drain it maybe, I you know. Um, but yeah, that's what it's called. And this one, I don't remember the price on this one. It could be $1.50 or 2 bucks maybe. 
Um, but uh, let's just go ahead and open this one and just see what this one looks like outside and maybe explain to you guys why I picked this thing up. So that one comes in two pieces. So there you go. All right. So the reason why I picked this item up is that I really thought that this one is a good item to use as a like a window blind or something like that um, you may need to do some cutting of course but as you can see the the pattern is there and it's see it's kind of see-through so it can work perfectly for that purpose it could it can also be used as a wall screen for example uh, just maybe incorporate this in in a you know like a you know basically create a foam you know from the pink foam create like a frame for this or or incorporate this on a wall of of a diorama and yeah it will be like a a like a privacy wall of some sort you know for a dojo uh, team diorama for example uh, you could even probably use this as a detailing for other purposes like maybe if you're doing a bench for example um, you could definitely use this as a detailing material even for chairs and stuff so yeah I mean there's a lot of possibilities for this item and um, yeah so we supply pick this pick this one up I mean obviously you know you're probably gonna have to do some repainting again for this one but what's good about this is that it's a sturdy material. It's made out of plastic. So um, <clears throat> compared to some of the other some of the other stuff that I use, sometimes you know, sometimes what I do is I use uh, the foam itself to create patterns. You know, when I create um, an item, like for example, if I create a bench, sometimes I use foam, right? But with this one, um, this one is more. Um, better because like I said it's made of plastic and it can take a little bit more of a beating um, when you display your figures or have your figures like sit on this or stand on this for example so yeah this one is a, a really good item to have all right so the next one that I'd like to share with you guys is this designer chair now I've seen this a few times already at Daiso and the only reason why I haven't picked this picked this up um, since then is because it's actually kind of well it, it is out of scale it's not really a perfect 112 scale I'm I'm more of a uh, 112 scale type of person when it comes to diorama I mean I do 16 scale as well but uh, most of the dios that I do is 112 scale and so, I mean, this is actually a nice uh, chair, but like I said, it's kind of off scale. And so if you're going to be using this for like, you know, like a uh, figure like this, which is, which is a 112 scale figure, Marvel Legends, you could kind of see that this one looks kind of out of scale, right? But however, if you start using this chair for like a bigger... Uh, taller size um, figure like for example see I have a Colossus in here this is a uh, Marvel Select Colossus um, and if you could if you see this right right next to it it's actually it looks more on scale so yeah so depending on the the type of use that you'll do then I think this can work with some of the figures I mean maybe tunnels will be a good fit in here you know maybe if you're doing some sort of like uh, you know play photography where you just want to use like a a you know normal chair then you could probably use this for him and and uh, that'll make him look just fine with this chair but yeah uh, the, the the build of this one is actually pretty cool I really like it I mean I really wish that this one is a true 112 scale but anyway, uh, this is being advertised as a uh, phone holder, by the way, if you guys wondering uh, why they have this at Daiso. So 
yeah so it's a phone holder so like if you're watching or or uh, i don't know i think maybe a mini ipad might fit on this one you basically just put it on top of this and um yeah and you'll be able to watch uh hands-free with your uh, mobile device so that's what it's used for and i think this one i paid like two dollars for this one i think for a dollar fifty i'm not really sure there's really no price in here uh, but somewhere around that price so i mean it's a good item to, ha to have i mean if i'm not gonna use this as you know for the figures and i'll definitely gonna use this for my phones uh it's just a cute little you know display piece as well that you can have in your desk so all right so the next few items that i want to show you guys are this ones right here and i'm actually pretty kind of kind of excited to share you guys this finds because i really think that there's a lot of possibilities with these so anyway so what i have in here are multi-case uh, mini containers all right so i have like different you know sizes in here i'm gonna open them but i just wanna show you guys what this one so yeah so like medicine you know pill boxes so that's what the intended intended purpose for this stuff in here so i don't know if you guys are kind of getting an idea already just by looking at this but um, for me when i saw this my the the light bulb in my head just like turned on and i was like whoa this is like really cool item to use as for example all right so like so like for example this one's right here you know like some of my ideas in here is basically this will be good um like electrical boxes or or those wall mounted uh, storage unit for example so that's that's my main idea when i found all this right here i mean even this one right here i mean it's a it will be a good um item to be used as a ammo boxes for example you know, as, an, as an accessories you know you, you just repaint this and make this uh like i said that into like an ammo uh boxes or maybe a weapon uh storage you know all you have to do is just put some some uh cut out insert foam inserts inside this and and then um yeah you could store like rifles or guns in here uh that can go along with your dio um projects you know like uh, i see a lot of people been doing um the punisher kind of like uh you know the uh weapons depot or something like that so this will be good for that uh, and like i said also for electrical uh, electrical wall panels and what's good about this is that it's so it's gonna be like a workable it's like a working you know electrical control panels you know you could just add some uh, modules inside with like buttons and stuff and it will be good with that already and you know if you go to daiso they come they come in different like sizes so like this one right here for example you know i could totally see this as a uh, maybe like a like a wall mounted uh, storage unit for like a, a sci-fi uh, team diorama for example and like i said this is like you know a working it can be like a working uh, wall panels so you just have to populate in you know, the inside with like you know details that will make it look more uh like an electrical panel but yeah i'm really excited with all this all these items i don't know i don't know if you can remove this uh, it's pretty tight there but let me go to the other ones so here's another one all right so this one right here i think this is the one that can be there you go that can be separated so there you go look at that it's like little containers so 
Yeah, so you could make this into like a, you know, for like a, a space station or uh, weapons depot. Let me look at that. It looks nice. And, and yeah, and it's a working. Let's see how to open this thing. Don't even know. Oh, there you go. And you can open it. See? How cool is that? And all you have to do is just repaint all this. And um, yeah, so instant accessories. So yeah, I really stoked with this. Oh, this one is really cool right here. Let's see the other one. See what this one can yield in terms of ideas. So this one, okay, so this one is one whole unit, but it comes with like different openings once again. So again, my idea here is wall panel, wall electrical panels. And it, like I said, can be um, used in a, in a urban type setting, you know, like the normal, um, back alley, you know, building, whatever. You could use this as electrical panels. You just add your, kind of like your pipes that connects to this and things like that. And then um, use this as a, uh, a space, you know, space station hallway, you know, um, electrical, uh, you know, modules, container, whatever, you know, this, I mean, the possibilities of using this is endless. So that's pretty cool. And there's another one. So basically, you know, the ideas on all of these are kind of the same, but I just want to show you guys that there are different sizes for this. So here's another size or another configuration that you can use so wall panels, space panels, you know, whatever. So yeah, and uh, in terms of cost, this uh, they range from like a dollar to like maybe two dollars, I think. Um, yeah, yeah, they differ in prices depending on which ones you buy. But my God, you know the the possibilities of using this for your accessories in your diorama are just endless, I think. So, um, yeah, I'll be repainting some of these soon and hopefully I'll be able to share with, with you guys the result of this. And um, <clears throat> so guys, so that you guys will be able to kind of visualize what I have in mind in terms of uh, how to use this, all right? So, all right. Next one that I have that I want to share with you guys is this item over here. So this one is, I mean, for me, uh, this one is going to be more of, more of a tool than an accessory on a dial. So, you know, this will be useful uh, for during the, you know, when you're painting, I think. Because um, like, like me, for example, I do a lot of... Um, well, yeah, obviously I do a, a lot of painting for my dials. But what this one is good for is when you're transferring um, paints from the bottle. So instead of like, you know, uh, getting your bottles and like pouring, um, you know, the paint to the cup, then, you know, you could be a little bit more um, careful and use this one instead because the other one can, you know, you can easily... Uh, tip over those uh, uh, bottle of of paints and you can spill it all over the place, right? But this one you could just basically open it, get you know, um, siphon a little bit of the the paint that you need, and then you drop it. It's also good for like um, when you're mixing colors, for example. So at least you'll be able to uh, have an idea how the ratio, for example, like. You know, like one drop versus two drop, rather than just uh, getting it straight from 
from the paint, you know, using your 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 brush and start mixing the stuff, you know. So, so that's what this one is uh, good for, I think. And I think this one is only like a dollar, so something uh, useful for you guys to uh, use for your painting um, process. So next one is this green stuff that you see in front of you. So, as you can see, this one looks like grass, right? So, it's like a grass um, mat, basically. And this one uh, comes in... I don't know the size of this one. Let me get my ruler. It's quite large. So, I think this one... 18... It's about 28 by... 17 so this one is about 28 by 17 uh, size so as you can see the price of this one is five dollars again this one is a daiso and the reason why i picked this thing up is this one is a good quick um surface that you could use when you're doing photos with your action figures uh, instead of uh, having just a normal table you could you know use this as your your um, surface and then it's also workable with your, the with the, the diorama so uh, for example if I have some some uh, a building or, or for example then I could put it on top of this one just to make it a little bit more um, realistic when I'm taking photos so so yeah this one is a good uh, quick item to have in your arsenal of of uh, materials for white photography so the next materials that I'd like to show you guys is this we call this one color board but I think this one is more of like a foam board and uh, this is actually a nice foam board uh, I think this is the first time I've seen this uh, I've been the one that I've been using uh, a lot uh, for by Dio is the craft foam that you uh, can pick up at the dollar store and the only thing about those craft board is the foam in there is pretty soft and it's not as sturdy as this one this one is actually pretty dense if you if I could show you I could focus that so as you can see right here it has really good um, thickness to it and also it's pretty dense i mean it's like when i pinch this when i pinch i mean it doesn't collapse uh, uh or doesn't feel as soft as the craft foam that you can get at get at a dollar store so i think this is a good materials uh to use for uh, a lot of the maybe layering materials that you know um, you, you can use for your diorama you know to create those sudden depth changes then this will be good and like I said this one is pretty pretty dense and so even if you stand figures in here it won't uh, it probably won't sag or won't uh, get the you know uh, the uh, depressed by the uh, the weight of the figure as much as the craft foam that you can get from the Dollar Tree so so I'm gonna try this one in in my dial uh, next time and so I'll be able to give you guys more idea of how this one is uh, um, useful really so but yeah this is what they call this at uh, Daiso it's called color board and it actually comes in a pretty pretty large uh, uh, size it's I think it's um, let me see about 18 inches by 33 inches so it's a big panel and it doesn't you know I can't fit it in my uh, frame of the video but yeah that's that's the dimension of this one and um, yeah I'm looking forward to using this one and I just want to share this uh, finds because um, it could be a good uh, upgrade um, in terms of like uh, uh, materials uh, compared to the craft foam that I normally use 
and that you've probably also used that the one that you get from from the dollar store all right so we're almost at the end guys so just bear with me let me just show you a couple of items here that's basically similar um so uh, as you can see this one is called a foam sheet and this one has a brick pattern and if i get you guys a closer look of this one you can see that this one has a really good textures in here already as well as a really nice lines so uh, i think this one is originally uh, made for to be used as a fake surface for home like in a home design uh, use like in a wall so that's what this one is um, and like it says in there it's a foam sheet so it's pretty lightweight and what's good about this one i mean for me uh for for using this as a uh, in the dial is that um you could basically just use this as a a panel for the wall and i think it looked good because it already has uh textures on it so all you have to do is just stick it on the uh, on the uh on the dial wall and paint it and you're done i mean i think you know, what you're paying for if you get this one is the is the uh the time cutting that you're gonna have uh when making a dial um, this one is probably the most expensive items that i bought um as part of that uh hunt that i did for daiso uh, this one costs about four dollars um per um one you know one whole sheet of this one and the dimension of this is uh, about 11 inches by 30 inches so i mean depending on the the size of the die you're working on then um you know you could probably use maybe one of these is good enough maybe for a dio but if you're doing a larger dios and you want to use a lot of uh, uh cover coverage for this kind then you may need to buy more but but the like i said the the the, the time cutting that you that you get from using this one is i think it's is what you're paying for when you buy this at, at four dollars per per sheet like this all right so the next one is the same thing except that this one has a different pattern and this is actually a pretty cool pattern if i get that closer to you guys you can see the the real really nice texture that this foam sheet has and it's actually almost like it's mimicking a um uh like a slate tile that's been that's been um, stacked on top of each other and that's kind of like what you see on the profile of that and I think this will look good in a dial setting uh, something different because this because this kind of texture and look is kind of hard to recreate uh, yeah in in the um, pink insulation foam yeah this kind of uh, I mean it's doable but it takes it takes a lot of work to do and create this so this will be a good way to to again save you some time if you wanna uh, add texture to the walls all right so and this one the size of this one this one is more of like a square so this one is about 20 inches by 20 inches uh, panel all right so that's pretty much that's pretty much it guys so i hope that you guys were able to pick up uh, a lot of good stuff on this video in terms of uh, materials and ideas that you can use for your own dial uh, project now uh, just want to remind you once again that a lot of these uh, materials that i showed you guys here may not be uh, at Daiso because a lot of these items are seasonal so uh, you may want to 
check the different Daiso also around your area. If not, uh, if there's no Daiso that's close to you, then please make sure to check the uh, the website. And then maybe you can find some of these there and um, might be a good way to go. All right. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to leave me comments down below. Uh, also, please hit that subscribe button to help me out and do not forget to also hit that bell button so that you guys will always be notified of new videos when I upload them. If you want to learn more about what I do on the daily and get additional contents that I don't normally get to show here on YouTube, then you can follow me at MacBay in my Instagram and in my Facebook. In the meantime, I wish you all well and I'll see you guys on the next one.